New York Yankees fans, what is up yet again? It is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? The New York Yankees just defeated the Twins. Great news. Gary Sanchez looks like El Crank. And I want to talk about real quick that um, when Gary Sanchez is on, it's completely different from, let's say, when John Cole Stanton is on. When Gary Sanchez is performing, this is a different team. It's safe to say, in my opinion, that Aaron Judge and Gary Sanchez, they are the New York Yankees. Now, we could talk about Gary Sanchez's defense all day long. He caught Hap great. But there's instances and games that he's horrible behind the plate. Let's not sugarcoat that. But Gary's bat is valuable. Gary's bat, he's really making 600 k per year. I mean, that's a bargain. You get a player like Gary Sanchez performing. I know all those analytical guys talk about war, war this, war that. When Gary Sanchez is performing, Gary Sanchez is going to help your team win. So if you guys want to talk about war, when Gary Sanchez is on, I'm pretty sure he has a high war. This is why I came out and chimed in. There was talk about the Yankees looking into JT Riomutu. And we're going to hear about that more. It doesn't mean that the Yankees have given up on Gary Sanchez. It just means that they want more consistency behind the plate defensively. I, for one, in my opinion, wouldn't like to see Gary Sanchez really take days off and fill in that DH void. But he can't. It's really occupied. Nothing against Stanton. But when it comes to how much money Gary Sanchez is making and how much money John Carlos Stanton is making... It's going to be an interesting offseason. That's really the point that I was making with my two previous videos. A lot of people got triggered. A lot of people got butt hurt. But I'm just stating facts. I mean, the way the Yankees are ran now, they prefer low-cost players. They prefer developing players. It doesn't mean that the Yankees are not going to sign free agents. The point that I'm making is that John Carlos Stanton, if he wants to remain a Yankee, he needs to finish off strong. That's just my point. Because instances are going to arise. Teams are going to hit up the Yankees in the offseason and make them offers. It's not like A-Rod. A-Rod, when the Yankees made the trade for him, no other team was going to ring up the Yankees and say, Hey, A-Rod had a subpar 2004. We'll, we'll take him off of your hands, Yankees. Uh, we'll pay that big old contract that he has. It's not the same. Teams back then were not going to budge for A-Rod. But, like I'm saying, teams like the Dodgers, they're going to be a team that rings up the Yankees, and they're going to be a team that goes snooping around and finding out if the Yankees are willing to trade Stanton. Like I said, I'm not saying it's going to happen. But worst case scenario, if Stanton doesn't finish off strong, let's say he doesn't even have a great playoff run, it's really possible, guys. Gary Sanchez is not making that much money. If there's a trade that goes down, the sound of Riamuto being your everyday catcher and platooning him with Sanchez, Sanchez as a DH, I mean, that sounds pretty good considering the fact that Gary Sanchez and Riamuto barely make any money. I mean, just look at these games where Gary Sanchez is performing. The Yankees win those games. Where Gary Sanchez performs, it's like you're watching a different team. That's all I'm saying. When Judge performs, it's a different team that you're watching. So it's safe to say that this team belongs to Judge and Sanchez. When they go, the Yankees go. This is great news. I know for a fact that Gary Sanchez is just going to hit, okay? He's not going to be batting 181, whatever he's batting. He's going to finish off strong. Like I said in my previous videos, Stanton needs to do the same thing. If he doesn't, he's going to become that player that's making millions of dollars and becomes a question mark because you have all these other players making around, what, close to 500 k performing like they're making $20 million a year. That's just all I'm saying. So Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Is L Kraken? Going to start cracking? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. This has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.